It's here. It's finally here. The episode everybody's been asking for. The top two attractions at Mayaka River State Park. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Florida's Trail and Camp Report. I'm Joanne. And I'm Wes. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time here, then welcome to our channel where we cover hiking, backpacking, and camping in Florida. If you're interested in seeing more of that type of content, then consider subscribing to our channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our episodes. Today we'll wrap up our countdown of the top 10 attractions at Mayaka River State Park. But before we reveal the top two, let's recap, starting with number 10. Our countdown starts off with spectacular sunrises and sunsets. In the number 9 spot was bird watching. The extended boardwalk along the lake provides a perfect vantage point for birding enthusiasts. Park Drive is the main road to the park and captures the number 8 spot. Hours can be spent walking, driving, or biking this road with something new at every turn. We got a little more adventurous with the attraction in the number seven spot. The bridge provides the first opportunity to get up close and personal to a big old alligator. The Pink Gator Cafe is the number six in our countdown. Here you can enjoy a nice meal, a great view, or just get a cool ice cream treat. Only a few hundred yards from the Pink Gator Cafe, the Weir comes in at number five. This is a great spot for wildlife photography. Bike riding and boating allow you to choose your adventure and there are plenty of adventures to choose from with the number four attraction, bike riding and boating. Number three attraction is accessible to everyone. A pontoon boat nature tour comes in at number three. The park's arguably most known attraction takes the number two spot. A 25 foot high tree canopy gives you a totally different perspective of the forest. Sorry, cutting down trees. Cutting down trees. She thinks she's a lumberjack, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're headed to the infamous canopy, tree canopy. Are you ready? Am I in the picture? I don't think I'm in the picture. You're in the picture. I'm okay. We're headed to the um, infamous tree canopy in Mayaka State Park, State River Park. Mayaka River State Park. Yeah. It's called the William. Boylston Nature Trail leads you to the hammock, canopy. It's a 4.4. Just felt like saying 4.4 has nothing to do with anything. Just felt like saying 4.4. Oh, you thought it was 45 4 .4. minute, 45 minute walk, round trip. It's a loop trail. Let's get it. So if you want to just jump out and see the canopy real quick, don't take the one that's at the main parking. Take the one that's that you come to first, a little further south, and it'll take you right to the canopy within a matter of 20 yards. Bees on Canopy Tower. A 
over at 27 feet. Oh, this is Resurrection Fern. Oh, do you know the story about Resurrection Fern? See those ferns right there? They look like they're dead, but as soon as it rains, they get a little bit of water on them. They come back alive and they thrive, they grow. While the boardwalk takes visitors high above the forest floor into the canopy of the tree, the 75-foot tower anchoring the west side takes visitors high above the tree canopy for breathtaking views of the whole park. Wow. It's pretty crazy. 67 feet. Well, we finally made it to the number one attraction at Mayaka River State Park. We actually visited the park several times before we became aware of this unique attraction. Coming in at the number one spot is the Deep Hole. Now, you'll need to get a free permit and directions to the trailhead from the ranger station before you start this adventure. To reach the Deep Hole, you'll hike a couple miles on a brush hogged road through the backcountry. And I can't think of another adventure that will give you a better taste of a South Florida wilderness. Okay, we're at the ranger station, 8 o'clock in the morning, to get a backcountry permit for the Deep Hole. That's where all the alligators, BOAs, BOAs, are. So we're here. Let's see. There's a, I saw a couple people in line. There's only 30 given a day, so if you want to get a permit to go to the backcountry and see the <coughs> Deep Hole, where all the alligators are, get here at 8. Three, we're number four. We should be able to get one. Y'all here for the deep country or deep hole permits? Yeah. Oh. Right on. Look at that going right to our campsite. I don't think that's a baby, I think that's a... Good job, Jeremiah. Jeremiah navigated us straight here. We're now going to the deep hole where the biggins are. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Time to go. Find the OA. How are you feeling right now, Jeremiah? Like? Good tell everybody. Pretty good? Yeah. You excited? Yes. Yeah? Are you ready to see some BOAs? Yes. Have you ever heard the term BOA? No. No. I'm guessing I know the names. Yeah? Big old alligators. Big old, big old alligators. <laughs> Not just big old alligators. Big old alligators. You know what I'm saying? It'll be right down there. Let's see. She's right, there's not much parking. And spinning and spinning. All right, we're here. Mayaka River State Park Wilderness Preserve. Only 30 permits issued per day. We were waiting in line when they, when they opened and they started issuing permits. We have 2.2 miles to the deep hole where there are 
alligators galore. Make it down there, lunch, do some filming, come back. Okay, we've made it to the deep hole with everyone alive. It's a very easy walk. Brush hogged road, service road straight to the deep hole. And here's what we got. You can tell by looking at this, the lower lake directly behind me now, you can tell how low the water level is in the lake. You see the birds standing all the way out in the middle. So you could probably walk right across to the lower lake. If we turn this way, you see the upper lake and you see the deep hole right up there. It's like something out of Jurassic Park. There's five of us hiking down here. With the exception of the couple people on the other side of the deep hole, there's nobody around. We look back this way, absolutely nobody around. It's kind of prehistoric, eerie, seeing all this empty space. And they're doing a they're doing a prescribed burn over at a preserve close by. So that adds to the eeriness of it all. You can see the smoke in the background. Kind of overcast, hazy day. Really kind of eerie, but very cool. Jeremiah has mapped our plan of attack out here. Jeremiah, you want to tell us where we're going? We're going to walk across the side of the water all the way up to the alligators where we'll get good shots. I'm going to try to flank them, in other words, huh? All right. Here we go. Let's see how that goes. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting alligators. Look at him right there. Sunny Joe is feet deep. About 500 gators, gators in there. BOAs. Big old gator. BOAs, yo. Yep. Jeremiah is, uh, Jeremiah wants to get real close. <laughs> Closer the better, it seems. I think he wants to, uh, as Bill said, pet him. We're pretty close now. Closer. They're vegetarians, they don't eat meat. <laughs> 40, uh, we're probably 40. 40 foot from 50 foot from All over here. These gators on this bank over here, they're all over 12 feet. 12 foot, huge, absolutely huge. We're gonna set up and do a little time lapse, I think, and uh, go grab a lunch. We found a really neat place for lunch. 
under this canopy of live oaks and palms. We've got the deep hole right there in front of us. Sit here and watch the alligators swim around while we enjoy our lunch. Man, good time. a lot of alligators there. POAs. I would say, how many do you think? 60? Oh, I didn't even try to count them. I know that uh, two-thirds of the shoreline were covered with POAs. It's amazing how they just, they can all hang out with one another. There's no territory. Yeah, but did you notice the little ones wouldn't go Near the big ones. Near the big ones, yeah. Uh -huh. There were some little ones right there waiting for us to leave to lay out on the... Be the suntan. Yeah. yeah. They were like, uh-uh, I can't go over there. Okay. Those are the big kids. The kids, you know, the mama keeps the, the kids at bay while the, the adult men hang out and talk. Big kids, they won't let me lay on the big kids shoreline. It's so like relegated to the to the kids' table, you know? Yeah, the kids' table. <laughs> when the whole family gets together, the kids have to sit at the kids' table. Yep. The kid alligators have to sit at the... You're not mature enough. Yep. On the kids' shoreline. Well, there you have it, the top 10 attractions at Niagara River State Park. We should mention that the attractions that made it into the top 10 are by no means the only attractions and activities available at the park. The park offers over 40 miles of mountain bike trails and hiking trails. There's primitive campsites uh, at varying distances from the trailhead. There are three campgrounds with over 90 campsites uh, that have electric and water service. 
bathhouses are immaculately clean, great campsites. Guided tours and starlight concerts are just a couple of the other activities available. Uh, so if you like the outdoors even just a little, Mayaka River State Park has something for you. So let us know what you find and, and what your favorite attraction is down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if this series has been informative or entertaining at all. See ya on the trail!